quartz vibrating my face. I'm worried it's going to be like, you know, when you're making a cake and then you turn the mixer on and the flour goes Pow. You can Bluetooth it to your phone, which means nothing. Well, this is a first for me. I'm going to be testing a... <laughs> I'm already on edge about it. The Clarisonic Sonic Foundation Brush. I'm actually really excited to try this. I know that's really lame. Clarisonic do a lot of electrical appliances for expo like exfoliators and cleansers. I've never actually heard of their new sort of foundation brush. So people apparently have been using these for washing their face for years. I missed the memo. I still use a flannel. Really, when you're putting foundation on, your brush needs to spin and vibrate. This goes with a Clarisonic. So if you don't have a Clarisonic, you'd have to buy one and then buy this head. This is probably a good purchase to make if you've already got a Clarisonic, but I don't know if it would be worth buying Clarisonic specifically for the head. But let's find out because it might be, it might be incredible and it might be worth it. I feel like the finish will be better. It will have a probably smoother finish than if I was to brush it in with my hand. The bristles feel really soft. I feel like this is going to go well. I hope. You can Bluetooth it to your phone, which means nothing. Surely that means nothing. Um, there's not many instructions on here. When I say many, there's, I mean, there isn't really any. It just says to avoid the eye area. Um, yeah, I'm just going to try this. So this is the foundation brush head. So it's a separate piece that you attach to the, the Clarisonic brush. I would just use it as I would use a foundation brush. So I'm going to dot the foundation onto my skin and then blend it out with the brush. I'm immediately skeptical that it's a bit thin. I expected it to be a little bit firmer with um, quite firm bristles for, for buffing in the foundation. I don't know if this is right. Maybe I should put it on my face first. I don't want to look stupid. And I'm just going to apply it to my skin. I'm worried it's going to be like, you know, when you're making a cake and then you turn the mixer on and the flour goes Pow. OK, a bit scared, but let's, let's go. Oh, oh, it's vibrating my face. I don't know what I'm doing. OK, so, um, and I always start in the middle of my face. Can't remember who taught me that, but I always start on my nose and work my way out. It doesn't really tickle, it just kind of feels like I'm using my Clarisonic to cleanse my face. Um, oh, it tickles a bit around, around your nose. Okay. Um, maybe I used a little bit too much foundation. I feel like this is so much easier than me going in circles. It's quick though, like it's quickly blended that. That didn't take long, I haven't done my nose yet, but... It's just going to flick everywhere, it's going to look like... Jackson Pollock's art studio in here. It looks quite nice so far. Oh, God. The beeping is a bit... It just looks really polished. I feel like um, when I use a normal foundation brush, it just... It, it can look a bit patchy and you kind of have to go over it. Oh, God. There's probably something in the instructions that I didn't read that says, do not make contact with your eyes. But it's too late now. So when that beep happens, I think that means you would move on to the next section of your face if you were cleansing your skin. But obviously we're doing foundation, so I can just carry on for as long as I want. Um, oh, God, this is stressful. Can you imagine waking up late and then having to do this? I don't think I'm doing it right. So I've got a lot of brush strokes still. It feels like I maybe am using less product though, because I've still got quite a lot less left in my hand and that would have gone by now if I was using a sponge. That's, that's done. It looks really smooth and it's given a really nice finish. It hasn't clung to any of my pores. OK, that's probably enough, right? Um, for all my smart-ass comments, that has actually blended quite nicely. There's definitely a few brush strokes still on my face. I do love the finish. I think it looks really perfect. Um, there's no brush marks. It's blended out the makeup really, really well. It's, I get that it's a lot of money though. It's an investment. If you've got, you know, the, um, the disposable income, then I mean, I love it. I think it's wonderful. Um, but I don't know if it's 
wonderful enough to warrant £185. I am pleasantly surprised. So if you have one already, maybe it's worth buying the foundation brush. But I don't think this has done anything that a foundation brush wouldn't have done. pleased with this actually. <laughs> I feel like it has a really smooth finish. Would I pay £185? Personally I don't think so but looking at the finish it's given me maybe. It does look, I mean that is pretty cool isn't it? The more I think about it. Equally it is £185 for this bit and then this bit is like 30 quid. Compared to the price of a sponge, which is what, like a fiver? I don't know if I could warrant it. It's probably the future, so I better get on board and just buy one, right?